Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the first video on full cost accounting. In this video, we will talk about the concept of full cost accounting method in oil and gas accounting and solve an exercise. Please like, subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. And for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Accounting is a K. We hope that this video helped the students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. We also hope that this video help fresh graduates who have joined the oil and gas companies and want to refresh their learning on the concept of full cost accounting method and how to journalize their transactions. So let us start with the concept of full cost accounting. Under full cost accounting method, both successful and unsuccessful expenditures should be capitalized. All cost associated with property acquisition, exploration and development activities are capitalized and amortized over production. Not only this, G&G studies, delay rentals, and exploratory dry holes are also capitalized. When property is impaired or abandoned, the cost of impairment or abandonment continue as part of the capitalized cost of the cost center. Any portion of general and administrative cost directly related to the acquisition, exploration, and development activities are also capitalized. Cost related to production, uh, general cooperative overhead, and similar activities are expensed. The cost center for accumulating capitalized cost to be amortized is a country by country basis, that is one country, one separate cost center. Non-productive exploration cost having no future economic benefits are also capitalized. And the reason is, unlike other industries, the primary assets of oil and gas companies are not the property, plant and equipment, but the oil and gas in the ground. Financial statements are based on the fact that unsuccessful expenditures are a necessary and unavoidable part of discovering those assets. All non-drilling cost that can be associated with specific unproved properties are debited to an unproved property control account. Let us talk a bit about accounting treatment under full cost accounting method. If proved reserves are not found, exploratory wells in progress are transferred to exploratory dry holes. Both successful exploratory wells and exploratory dry hole accounts are assets accounts under full cost accounting and are written off to expense through DD and A. Drilling costs are initially charged to well in progress and if proved reserves are found, then transferred to wells and related equipment and facilities. Development wells in progress that do not find proved reserves are transferred to wells and related equipment and facility in the same manner as under successful efforts. So let us solve an exercise. 
लकी कंपनी एक्वायर्ड शूटिंग राइट्स टू टेन थाउजेंड एकर्स पेइंग फाइव थाउजेंड नाउ दिस इज ए जी एन जी कॉस्ट एंड दिस विल बी कैपिटलाइज एंड दिस इज डेबिट बाई फाइव थाउजेंड एंड कैश इज क्रेडिट बाई फाइव थाउजेंड देन लकी कंपनी then hired davis company con to conduct the gng work and paid the 30000 uh, paid the company 30000 again this is a gng cost and that is debit by 30000 and cash is credited by 30000 then as a result of the gng work lucky company decided to lease the following properties we have a and b lease a and lease b and they are paying the acquisition cost uh, bonus they are paying the legal cost and the recording fees so the total unproved acquisition cost will be 1000 times acres um, um, times uh, per acre rate plus the legal cost and the recording fees that is equal to 25500 then for lease b we have 1500 at the rate of 20 per acre plus the legal cost and the recording fees and this will be equal to 31000 then we come to number d during the following year lucky company paid the following ad valorem taxes of 1500 so ad valorem taxes are debited by 1500 and cash is credited by 1500 <clears throat> then there is a dry hole contribution of 10000 on lease b so dry hole contribution uh, is debited for lease b by 10000 and cash is credited by 10000 then delay rental of lease a and b of 3000 and 4000 so we have the delay rental for lease a of 3000 debit and cash is credited by 3000 and delay rental for lease b is debit by 4000 and cash is credited by 4000 then non recoverable delinquent taxes on lease b is 2000 and again this is an unproved exploration cost debit by 2000 and cash is credited by 2000 then cost of maintaining lease records for lease a and b were 800 dollars for the year allocated on relative acreage now you can see that the for lease a uh it is 1000 acres of and the total acres is 2500 times 800 this will give us 320 and for lease b this will be 1500 divided by the total acreage times 800 and this is equal to 480 so we have 320 and we have 480 and cash is credited by 800 okay number e at the beginning of the next year Lucky company began drilling operation on both lease A and B the company incurred the following cost for lease A and lease B we have lease and uh, uh, well equipment 50000 for lease A so lease and that is well in progress for 50000 and intangible drilling cost for 200000 that makes 250000 for lease b we have the lease and uh, for le lease uh, wells and equipment 20000 and 
intangible drilling cost of 130,000 that makes 150,000. Then we'll move on to number F. Assume the well on lease A is successful and additional intangible drilling cost of 10,000 uh, on equipment cost and 70,000 are incurred. Uh, intangible drilling cost is 10,000 and equipment cost is 70,000 are incurred to complete the well. So first of all, we are going to record the cost for intangible drilling cost it is 10000 for lease and well equipment it is 70000 so the total is 80000 and now because uh, it the well is completed so the well in progress are going to be reclassified or they will be transferred to wells and related equipment and facilities and for this we will go first of all for lease a For lease A, uh, uh, we have the well well in progress intangible drilling cost of two hundred thousand. Then we have lease A. That is for lease B. and this is for again this is for lease a and that is ten thousand for intangible drilling cost so the total becomes two hundred and ten thousand so intangible drilling cost is going to be well in progress intangible drilling cost will be credit by two hundred and ten thousand and this will be transferred to wells and related equipment and facilities 210,000. Then we go for lease A and we look for the lease and well equipment and for lease and well equipment we have 50,000 and 70,000 that makes 120,000. So we have 120,000 uh, and 120,000 and this will be debit for wells and related equipment and facilities 120,000. Now since the well has been completed that means the unproved property will be reclassified as a proved property. So we are going to look into the balance for the proved property and if you can see for we have for lease A uh, 25,500 then we have uh, for again this is for lease a this is for lease a again that is 1500 then we have for lease a 3000 then we have the maintenance cost of 320 and that gives us a total of 30320 so proved reserves are going to be debited by 30,320 and unproved property will be debited by 30,320. We have to close the unproved properties. Then uh, assume the well on lease B is determined to be dry and is plugged and abundant for an additional 3000 so first of all this is for lease b and 
this is 3000 so again this is well in progress intangible drilling cost debit by 3000 and cash is credit by 3000 and now we are abandoning this property so let us see how we do this for lease b now <clears throat> we have lease b um, and we have lease b over here as well so well in progress intangible drilling cost for lease b is 20,000 for lease and well equipment and intangible drilling cost is 130,000 for and this is 20,000 then we have the uh, we have the wells in progress let us see what is there for Luis b we have intangible drilling cost of 3000 and that is 3000 and this makes 133 and this remains 20000 so well in progress lease and well equipment will be credit by 20000 to close this account and this will be for 133 the intangible drilling cost and uh, this will be now not wells and related equipment and facilities rather it will be exploratory dry holes now for lease and well equipment it is 20,000 and exploratory dry hole intangible drilling cost is 133,000 and now because we are abandoning this property so we are going to look into the total for unproved property and for this again we will go from the top and for lease b we have 31000 then we have lease b for 10000 then we have lease b for 4000 and here we have the maintenance of 480 and there is a lease b for 2000 so 4000 2000 and 480 4000 2000 and 480 anything else no there is nothing for the unproved property and the total will be 47480 so unproved property will be closed 47480 and we are going to debit the abandoned cost of 47000 480 so uh, this completes the first video on full cost accounting method i hope you have enjoyed this presentation and if you found value in this video then please like subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Remember, effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity, which cultivates wisdom. If you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session, then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah I will reply you back. Thank you so much and happy learning.